hi everybody welcome back to the channel for the ones who don't know me my name is maria and welcome to the channel um if you are watching and you're not subscribed yet i'm going to ask you before we continue with the video to hit the subscribe button next is a uh, bell button so you guys get notifications every time i upload a new video please do that before you leave the channel don't leave without subscribing um first than anything how's everybody happy memorial weekend to all of you guys i uh, hope you guys are having wonderful weekend um i know a lot of you guys are asking where i am what i've been doing what happened it's just been like three or four days since i upload my last videos guys so just take it easy um a lot of things happening i know i told you guys in my last video that i have a lot of stuff recorded already and unfortunately my phone for some reason i cannot find the footage the, the stuff that i already record a lot of stuff is missing i have pieces and the other some other parts of the videos are gone and these are videos that i cannot re-record you know it's not like when i sit down right now i'm talking to you guys i can probably hit the button and re-record what i just said um when you make things and you're making things and you record it's just hard to do that um some of the issue i think it is because i have a lot of pictures and i have an app in my phone called whatsapp and the app just save everything what i don't like about the app is this, the app save all the pictures people send you know I, i'm in the uh, family group and all the pictures that they send anything it just saves to the phone any videos anything so i have all those stuff saved in my phone even if I, i'm not interested on things they just save, save to my phone so i have to go through because my phone is uh, 256 gigabytes, but um, I have the new iPhone and I don't know what happened. And I don't know if it's Apple is doing something just to maybe make us pay more because now they said that I need more um, storage in my iCloud and I can get this plan for $9.99 a month and I will have like a one terabyte of uh, um, space in my iCloud. Well, I'm not going to pay for that. So, I did delete some stuff. And I don't know what happened. I don't know if I did something wrong. But I have so many years working with iPhones. It's just, this is not my first iPhone. So, I kind of know the iPhone system very well. Like, I know how Apple do these things. For some reason, I, I figure out everything real quick. And I know... It, I. I didn't do that, but it's a pain in the neck. Um, that's the first tragedy that I have. Second, the 19th of this month, we went out for a birthday party. And it did rain a lot where I live. Um, but by the time we leave the house, it was sunny. It was perfect, you know. And I know it did rain for maybe about an hour or so at the most. Well, find out that uh, it did rain a lot. And when we come back that night, it wasn't too late. It was around maybe like 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> My niece come down to the basement because she was looking for some of her clothes. And um, she just called me and she's like, um, your basement is flooded so i was taking a shower and i just like what i was supposed to remove my makeup i don't even remove my makeup that night and yes when i came down to the basement everything was like oh uh, yuck i have about maybe six inches water of water here in the basement because you guys know that my craft area is down in my basement because I don't have uh, too many rooms in the house to just create uh, a craft area and yes a lot of my stuff was damaged 
all these stuff behind 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 me on my craft table here um sorry if i move the camera but on my craft table and all the stuff behind me they get water on them um they didn't get too much of the damage i was able to um air dry everything like me and my husband put the everything on top of these two by fours or four by fours and um you know lift it from um from the floor and we turn a uh, fan on and we start cleaning the same night remove a lot of stuff throw a lot of stuff out and yes um besides being my craft my little craft uh space here in the basement i also have my washer and dryer i iron my clothes down here um i put a lot of my clothes like all my linen um like from my beds and stuff all that stuff is here thank god they're in the plastic storage containers and um they didn't get much they didn't get damaged or wet or anything but some of them um because i was like going through because every summer you guys know how spring cleaning is so i was cleaning i'm going through stuff so a lot of stuff was out of the containers and a lot of stuff yeah did get damaged and we have to get rid of a lot of stuff but um i pretty much save pretty much all my items um the only thing I really, really, it, it really did get damaged and I was kind of upset and I'm still upset about it, was my stickers. <laughs> you guys know I purchased a lot of stickers. Um, I don't have this craft room for a very long time and the idea of having it in a crafty area is not from long, long time um i think the most is like two years two years or two years and a half since i have this idea of how many crafty area at first i did have a small crafty area and i was doing my crafty uh, uh stuff in my back porch but as any crafter know um my stuff keep growing like i keep getting more and more and more <laughs> I start with three paper pads and now maybe I ha I don't have that many but um I have pretty much good amount of paper and uh I have my uh stamps I don't know a lot of stuff my washi tapes um you guys see I have four containers of washi tapes and Thank God those was like high up in the shelves so uh, they didn't get damaged. But um, as I keep going, I keep buying more and getting more stuff. People give them, uh, me a lot of stuff too. So I decided to come down here and create this area. And by then I was already recording videos for YouTube and I decided, hey, I am going to um, have that area too to record my videos and people people probably will like it and i will be able to record record and have my stuff all at the same space because i think it works better for me but um yeah <sighs> things happen it's just crazy and i it's been like nine minutes already and i'm telling you guys like kind of, of my story from the last couple of weeks also i have like two movings uh, like my niece move out my son move out and uh, it's just been crazy um it's been a roller coaster of emotion and a roller coaster of a lot of stuff to do a lot of stuff they take care a lot of work in the house so i apologize because uh not uploading videos like i wanted to plus i lost about half of my footage like whatever i have planned i did um some informational videos too um that i was trying to bring to you guys see if, how you guys like those and all that is just yeah everything is messed up now but we are um getting better from the situation and 
I know I said that I have to do a tour of my craft area. The reason I don't do a tour of my craft area yet is because me and my husband, we reseal the walls in the basement. My house is an old house. And you guys know with the old house came old basements and all that. And I live uh, in Ohio. And you guys know that we have every type of weather here. Um, so when it's uh, snowing, it's really snowing. And when it's hot, it's really hot. And when it's raining, when it's raining, it's going to rain. So <laughs> it's not in between. And due to that, um, my walls, they get yucky again. And I'm waiting to repaint my walls again. I was thinking that any which way, do it like that. Um, if people don't like to see what they're going to see, oh well. But uh, my husband um, is putting a ceiling in this area only in this area because i asked him to do that for me because sometimes um you know it, my table gets dirty and i have to keep cleaning every time i come down here uh, i don't know the reason why uh we are clean people people we are um but i don't know it gets like and i'm thinking it's because of because when we walk upstairs Maybe uh, things start falling down, and I was like, no, we need to do something about it. So I asked him, and he's so nice that he uh, put, like, a ceiling in the area. But we're still working on it, so we still have to uh, cover the rest. And uh, we're making some pro progress, little by little, because he's injured, too. And, you know, we are not too young anymore. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it's that's all the issues that we we've been having. Like, it's just crazy. It's been crazy, guys. Um, I don't know. I was able to turn the camera. I'm really. I don't know if I feel like it or not. Let's see how I can show you guys um my May um planner. Also, I didn't write nothing in the planner. My planner is being neglected since the last week of April. It's been completely neglected. Um, and I'm going to show you the last week of April because it came out so beautiful. Um, this is not... Um, I'm not saying that I'm going to write anything. I have everything writing down in my traveler's notebook and, um, that I made. And... You know, I just have to rewrite everything in my planner. And why? You guys said, but it's not making no sense now. It's already passed. Yes, already passed. But I keep my planners um, as a memory. Things to remember, you know. So that's why I like to put everything back. You know, write everything down. But I, it's been neglected because of all these problems. And again, you guys know that I wasn't doing too good. But now I'm feeling a little bit better, you know. It depends what I do. So some days are when you have fibromyalgia, you have good days, bad days, good moments and bad moments. So and people who suffer from uh, pain related um, issues, they understand very clear when I'm coming through. Um, but I don't want nobody to feel sorry. Um, I'm just, I accept what I have and I try to deal the best I could with. But like I said, I'm going to show you guys. Nothing is writing down. It's just the setting, um, how I decorate it and that's it. So, but I wanted to share with you guys. Um, this, it's a Barbie one. And look how beautiful is those images they're like vintage um barbie um pictures and i found this um in a website oh and i completely forgot about it to write it down but it's uh like if you guys search for um planner 
decoration stuff um you probably that website probably will pop out because she has um uh all the uh stuff that you can print it out from your computer and it's completely free if i found the link i will link it down below but it's not i apologize but this is something that i get from the um computer and look how pretty is the their barbies so that's the last week of um april then it's may for the first week i do this and it's all cupcakes and fruits and that was inspiration from a, a sticker set that I get from Walmart. And I think it come out so cute. Then this one is butterflies. Look how pretty. And I'm sorry guys, because you guys know I have the big happy planner. Um, I use my stamp here. I have a butterfly stamp. So I stamp it and I paint it and in the other page too over here. That's the stamps that I use. The other ones are stickers from the Dollar Tree and washi tape from Michaels. Um, then I did donuts. <laughs> and that's how the donuts looks like. Yummy. And this was inspiration from a sticker set that I get at Hobby Lobby a few months ago then I did mermaids oh, and they are so adorable and I use uh, paper from a paper pad I use uh, my inks for my stamps I stamp um, these cute little mermaids and I still have to finish coloring them I didn't finish and I use washi tape from the collection I think it is and yeah, that was it. That's the last one for the month of May. So, uh, yeah, you guys see I didn't write anything down. Like I said, I've been neglecting everything <laughs> in my life. Especially, I hate when I neglect my um, planner because then I have to write so many things down. It's not even funny. But it's okay. Um, Give me something to do. Well, guys, I just want to let you know that uh, that's all what is going on with me in my life. And I'll just share with you guys what's going on. And I hope you guys, um, again, are having a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And, of course, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.